Alrighty everyone, I say it's time for me to go ahead and beat Misty. So, I trained a little bit, I got my Kadabra up to 21, my Charmeleon's up to 22, my Pidgeotto's at 22. So I think my Kadabra went up two levels and Charmeleon and Pidgeotto both went up one. So I'm gonna see and hope that this is enough to beat her. I mean, I think it should be, but I'm not positive on that. And if I do beat her, I'll go ahead and do something else in this part for a little bit. Go a little bit on the path. Make this not a five minute part like the last one I did. The water gun, don't hit me with that. And Psybeam needs to do more damage. Well, at least Kadabra's still alive. He took two water guns. So he hit her twice. Because I don't want to wait another 24 hours to have to face her. Sweet, she used the stupid move recovered. Awesome, gives me another hit. So she's over half dead. Okay, now Kadabra died though. But she's over half dead. So that means I got a decent amount of Pokemon to go at her with. I want a Metal Claw because I think I'll be able to take a hit if she hits me. Or maybe not, she's swift. And why was my Charmeleon already hurt? Oh, this is bad. Sweet, recover. Go ahead, do stupid stuff like that all day. And this Metal Claw needs to hit higher. It's increasing my attack, but it's not doing good. Yeah, she keeps using stupid moves. Oh, I think I got her this time. I don't think she can one-hit kill Pidgeotto, and Pidgeotto will kill her. Yes! Look at that. Almost seven grand experience for killing that Starmie. See, I think I should have been able to beat her last time. Although I kept getting lucky, she kept using Recover like an idiot. So there, you saw me beat my first gym. And apparently it doesn't want to tell me what she says. It just wants to cut off. Because I didn't even press anything. Well, now it's time to heal up. Make sure I got this. Okay, yep, there's my badge. I got zero disconnects. Cool. And zero losses and two wins. I actually fought that Joshua guy that was in my past video when I lost to Misty. Because he beat her. So I faced him wondering like why I couldn't do it. And then I beat him so it made me even wonder more on how he could beat her but I couldn't. So I don't know. But now I beat her so me and him are getting close on the same path. Come on go in the house. Okay well servers aren't down. It seems to happen a lot in this game with servers going down. I don't know, you must not be able to go inside this house. That's going to be my guess. So I won't do it then. I want to get to Celadon City. I go to Celadon, I can sell slash trade this Caterpie. Wow, well, defeat. It's not even Koga. So this guy's an idiot. It's not Koga. It's his daughter, I think that's who it is. Okay, why can I not leave? I would like to leave. Well, that's another friend. Ah, oh. Which he actually watches these videos too, so he'll probably see himself in it. Although I don't know if I'll watch him now that he has the game. But either way, now he's in it so we can just talk in the game. Trainer, so I'm about to get Cadaver up, hopefully. You're bored, huh? Like, this doesn't even make sense. Level 12? Like, really? I just killed a level 21. I'm probably going to want to shot every single one of this chick's Pokemon. Well, at least it got a little bit higher. Still giving me decent experience, too, I guess. The main reason I want to make it to Celadon is not even to get rid of this Caterpie. I want to evolve my Kadabra. And then I'll have Alakazam. And then once I get to 36, I'll learn Psychic. Which, what the heck? What, that actually gained your health back? Okay, so he's gonna, so it looks like Ron's going to try to catch a Pidgey. 
he just started this game. So he don't really have any Pokemon right now, probably. I haven't really seen it. But I know he got Squirtle. So that means he'd be able to stomp my Charmeleon once he gets it up. But that's why when I get to Johto, if you can pick another starter once you get to Johto, I'm picking a Totodile. Even though I don't know if I'll actually use him. Because I kind of have my party that I want. So really, this is where that old man is right here. No, nope, nope, he's right there. So how you teleporting everywhere, dude? So he ran into another Pokemon he wants. See who else that is. He can buy more though once he gets to a mark, which shouldn't take too long. I don't think there's any trainers on along the way to the first mark. But Pidgey, I don't even think he's going to be in my final party. Even though I planned on him, I don't think he will. I think I'll get rid of him. Because I'm actually going to get into this game probably a lot more. The only thing I don't like about it is servers go down hours. Like a couple hours every day at least. Usually more than that. Every time I try to go play the server, they're down. That's why there's been no progress really in my Pokemon World videos. But I'm definitely going to try to get into it and then get me a Larvitar. So he wants a Pikachu, but get my Larvitar. Which I don't think you can run into, and the only way to get him is to trade or buy him. Which I'll try to do that. And holy shit. So you just really just wanted to one hit kill me like that, didn't you? So after he gets his Ratatat and Pidgey, he wants a Pikachu. Well, good luck getting the Pikachu, because that's a pretty rare encounter. So right now he gets that Pikachu though. Misty shouldn't be no problem. Uh, Metal Claw sucks. I need to get rid of it. I'm going to try Dragon Rage maybe. Oh, that's bad. I expected more damage than that. Okay, Dragon Rage is definitely better. And who is this? Oh, David. He just found Abra. So I'm gonna stick with it. Whoa, no, don't go away. There we go. That's better. I've never been in the chat with more multiple people. So I don't I don't know how this works. I can they're both seeing David. Well, just me and Ron are both seeing him. I don't know. And yeah, this is the David who's supposed to upload videos to this channel as well. But he's been slacking and uploaded nothing. <sighs> Although he only has a Dazzle. But I'm going to try to get him to use the HD PBR sometimes. I also told him to maybe record some games on the emulator. Like he has Final Fantasy 4. And I told him emulate it and record it. It would be a pretty good game to record. Oh, David got an Abra. He actually caught it. Although it's not hard to catch it. Just throw Pokeballs at it. You can... It's funny too with this game. You can kind of cheat. If you're trying to catch a wild Pokemon, as soon as you throw the Pokeball, if you catch him, you'll... On, the Where you see your party Pokeballs up here, I'll have four Pokeballs underneath of these Pokemon. You can see the Pokeball pop up if you caught it before, like you. It even says anything, like it's wiggling. So as soon as you throw it, you can instantly know if you caught it if a Pokeball pops up. So I think that's pretty funny. So if I say grads to you both, I wonder what happens. I didn't really want to use Pidgey here, but it's whatever. I don't really want Pidgey to be my final party, and I want to go heal up because I don't want to use Pidgey. I want to use Kadabra because 
so far, Cadaver's been a beast. Like, just knocking down everybody. I don't know if they made the psychic moves too good on here, because I know Abra's good. But I never recall him being that good. And Celadon City, I believe, is to the left. What's all over here? Can I do anything over here before I go to this Pokemon Center? Oh, yeah, there's something over here. Don't know if I want to go here, though. I want to say that's Diglett's Cave, maybe? I honestly don't know. So what's up with you? What are you doing over here? Yeah, I have two. That ain't nothing. Oh, Bobby, you're not allowed to go in that house. So go to this Pokemon Center. And I'll go ahead and stop this part. It's 11 minutes long. It's decent. I got more stuff I got to record. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe so you know when I upload the next part.